Hello and welcome to Sender Tutorials. In this video, you will learn how to reconcile transactions synchronized by the Sender app into your accounting. I will show it to you on the example of the Stripe to QuickBooks integration, but the flow is absolutely the same for any other accounting system. Ideally, you should be able to see the list of the payment processor transactions already synced to your QuickBooks, but we will do this manually to show step-by-step -step how things are changing in your accounting. Let's take transactions for one day from Stripe. Three sales which compose a gross payout to the bank at the end of the day. Here they are in Cinder. Select these transactions and click the green Sync button, like that. Once the transactions are synced to your QuickBooks, the balance of the Stripe bank account, a clearing account automatically created by the app in your chart of accounts to represent Stripe, goes up by the net amount. You can open it to see what the app has created to account for your Stripe sales. However, if you go to the bank feeds, you will see no changes there yet for the outstanding record. Here is where you need to synchronize the payout. The Stripe transfer to your bank consisting of the above transactions net amounts combined. Once Cinder synchronizes the payout and its status says synced, go back to QuickBooks and refresh bank feeds. Now you're able to see that the add option for the bank feeds record was changed to match. This means that Cinder did the job for you. And now you're ready for smooth reconciliation, just clicking match for all of the Stripe transactions there, and you're done. To double check if it works properly, you can go back to the chart of accounts and see the balance of the clearing account, which should go down to zero, the same way as your Stripe does after the payout. Now you know how to prepare your books for quick reconciliation with the help of our app. Have a good journey with Cinder.